AD LeBlanc is back and a lot of people, including me, are playing it. And I think it's extremely, extremely good currently. And I've been watching probably the best AD LeBlanc out there, which is Showmaker, of course. Play a lot of his AD LeBlanc in lane. And what I can say is, is this guy is an absolutely different beast onto this champion. I'm going to be reviewing him right now where he lanes against Aurelia. Aurelia is a champion that's actually very strong in lane. Um, but Showmaker is going to completely dismantle this guy. And I'm going to be explaining to you guys how he does it. So first of all, we start with fleet setup, of course. And we take Doran's Blade. Doran's Blade, very strong item. Uh, heals for Omnivamp. And LeBlanc, of course, deals magic and physical damage. So Omnivamp is really, really useful um, to have more sustain in the lane and therefore also more trading power. So we start with Q to make sure that we get all the CS. And the goal in the lane is just to get as many auto attacks onto Aurelia as possible. What we see right here is Aurelia does uh, Q onto uh, Showmaker. Level 1. A lot of Aurelias will do this. This will mess her lane up, by the way, in this lane. She cannot do this against AD LeBlanc, because look what happens. Uh, Showmaker just runs away from the Aurelia right here. And then when Aurelia turns, Showmaker turns with the movement speed proc. And it makes it really easy for him to kite the Aurelia and uh, get a lot of return damage uh, onto her. What has now happened, the wave state is now pushing into Showmaker. So this will allow him to actually contest Aurelia on every CS that she's going to try to take, which is what he's doing right here. He's going to be spamming a lot of auto attacks onto Aurelia, and mainly we want to be trying to get those feed pops onto Aurelia because that will also heal us, uh, heal us up a ton. And what we can see is that the amount of damage that Aurelia takes, both magic and uh, physical damage, it's, it's really hard for her um, to have much agency in the lane. And as you can see, he's contesting every single CS. It's really important that you do this as a little blank. Our champion is not the strongest mid to late game champion if we're not ahead. Our champion works because it's really good at snowballing and it's extremely oppressive from ahead. But if we're not ahead, our champion doesn't do much. So it's really important that we get those leads in lane. And if you're looking to play a little blank yourself, it's really important that you're comfortable looking to trade out attacks, looking to uh, try to play onto the enemy and really pressure them because that's the way how you win games on a little blank. You want to get priority, play with your team, set up for your team, play for objectives and make sure that the game doesn't go further than 30 minutes. Um, what we can see right here, because of the bad wave state, Aurelia is forced to use all of her abilities onto the wave. Showmaker plays it perfectly. He sets up these creeps perfectly for W level 3. He does miss the chain, sadly, onto the uh, Aurelia, but it's completely fine because Graves just chases her down. And look at her wave state, it's absolutely terrible. So we are now slow pushing into Aurelia. Aurelia uh, now needs to take the long way around and eventually has to execute to take the reset, but she ports back and now we're just slow building into Aurelia. And the strength of this build as well is that uh, it gives us just much more DPS in the lane rather than burst. LeBlanc has a lot of high cooldowns in the early game, which makes it uh, really hard for it to have a lot of DPS, but rather do a lot of burst damage. This build actually makes you both deal a lot of burst damage and a lot of DPS. And I think that if you can go for this build, you should always go for this build because this build basically does what AP LeBlanc does, but then a little bit better and with a little bit cheaper items. The reason why this is so good is because the energized attacks stack faster on uh, LeBlanc her W. She can go forwards and backwards, which give both a lot of stacks towards uh, the energized attack. And that's what makes it really, really good. So we're now just slow building into Aurelia. And what we see from Shomek is he actually stays to try and bully Aurelia under tower with the amount of gold that he has. I would have probably based myself, I would have felt really scared against Aurelia, but it kind of makes sense because Aurelia ca cannot really all in Shomek and she'll lose a lot of mana. And then we can just take the TP reset when she is very low on resources. So that's actually really good for us if she decides to all in us right now, because we have a lot of self healing tools with the W and with the E, which makes it really hard for her to actually kill us. So we're just getting a lot of auto attacks in right here. This is exactly um, the kind of game state that we want to have. Enemy laner is pressured. We're not using our W aggressively because if we do, then Aurelia suddenly gets the opportunity to all in us right here. <coughs> so, um, we want to be looking for a reset real soon. 
And uh, another thing why Aurelia cannot all in is because she doesn't really have the vision or the opportunity to put the vision there, which makes it hard for her to understand what where the rest of our team is. We may be getting hover. So we go back right here. We TP back. And because Aurelia is so low, we want to try to um, contest her here and make sure that the wave doesn't crash. But sadly, that doesn't really work. She also gets cover, so we lose a lot of HP, which means that we have to back real soon again. We'll shove this wave. We'll just reset. And we'll grab ourselves an Executioner's because Aurelia gets a lot of lifesteal, a lot of lane regeneration, which is something we want to uh, minimize because we're mainly building and playing for lane. Uh, and Executioner's really works for that. So right now, we're actually in a position where we have uh, very, uh, c compared to level 1, very low W cooldown. And we have a lot of auto-attack damage. So what we want to be doing right now is we want to be playing very aggressively in lane. And Aurelia did have a tempo advantage. She grabs up a kill, but she did use R. So it's not really ideal, but we're still in a really good spot in the lane right here. And now it's going to be very hard for Aurelia to play. And Showmaker knows that. So Showmaker contests right here. He lands the chain. And what's going to happen right now is he's going to lock this Aurelia up for a long time right here. And look how he's kiting. Very, very, very solid kiting. Aurelia tries to get the wave and sadly our W gets uh, blocked, but we still get the, uh, uh, the fleet proc, which allows uh, to actually kill Aurelia. So look at, this, look at this damage. Do you think AP LeBlanc would have been able to do this at this point in the game? Answer is simply no. AP LeBlanc wouldn't have been able to do this. LeBlanc still has a lot of high base damages in her kit. And she uses that in the AD version as well. As you can see, all these auto attacks that they're weaving in, it's um, it, it just deals so, so much damage. And from this point, Aurelia is in a really tricky position because now she's really far behind. So we grab more AD items. And I'm pretty sure we can almost like one-shot Aurelia right now with the level lead that we have as well. So that's going to be our goal. We want to be slow, bring onto uh, Aurelia right here and contest her if she walks up. That's exactly what Snow Showmaker does. Aurelia walks up. Uh, uses her Q, so now we just weave in these auto attacks. We go back, another uh, fleet proc, dodge the complete masterclass right here. Complete, complete masterclass. Let's rewind this and actually pay it out slow. I'm gonna give you a commentary on what he does it and why it, it is so unbelievably good. All right, so we know we want to be contesting Aurelia. This is fleet proc one. Look at that extra damage, 42 extra damage. That's a lot. Okay, Aurelia uses her Q, she uses her W right here. So she has pretty low on abilities. So now we use our W to regen our fleet stacks. We W back to get the second fleet stack. Then we use our RW forward to get more fleet, pro uh, more fleet stacks again. And dodge out on Aurelia's E. Which is crucial for us to kill her. We instantly land with a chain. And we pop back. Almost have our third fleet proc right here. But we already killed her before that. Beautiful, literal, perfect execution by Showmaker. And we want to be pushing right now. I would have based. I'm going to be honest. I, I think I would have been a little bit scared right here. And I would have based. But Showmaker actually stays right here. And let's see why he stays. He probably knows Aurelia has no R. And I think he feels confident dodging out on Aurelia's, um, Aurelia's W. Uh, I mean, E, it's, 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 it's really, really, um, yeah, it's really risky, but you have a lot of regeneration in this, uh, in, in this build. So it, it might just be doable. Dodges out onto Aurelia's E again. Very nice E, very beautiful spacing right here. Yeah, just look at the perfect spacing, getting the fleet procs, dodging out on the Aurelia R with his double W. Look how he doesn't W in right here. It's, it's really, really poised if you don't W in right here because the W deals a lot of damage. So he knows he's under threat. He knows he keeps the W for it. He baits out the Aurelia R. And now Aurelia is just in a really tricky position uh, again in the lane. Because without R, it's going to be very hard for her to hit the LeBlanc uh, with her E. And it's going to be um, pretty easy for Showmaker to, to kite her and stay out of kill threat. So we get the kill. We get the plates. He gets another wave. And we now have the gold for Static Shift. So now with Static Shift, stuff uh, completely changes right here. Because now we just get completely full priority. And we have even more damage with our fleet procs, which is what we're going to be playing for. Next item is going to be Storm Razor to even make those fleet procs even deal more damage. And um, yeah, it's just really, really hard 
for enemies to play against that. So we just clear waves with auto attacks. We get a lot of fleet procs onto, on, onto towers. And whenever Irelia decides to go in onto us, we can always just retaliate with our auto attacks right here. And look at the damage that we do. We also have a chance to crit. It, it's um, extremely, extremely oppressive from this point. So we have full priority. Dodge out on Irelia's abilities again. And as you can see, we just kill her with auto attacks. It's not much more. So what he does right here is he goes back to the W right here to regenerate more fleet procs and get into auto attack range. And then he does RW again to get more fleet stacks and kill her with the fleet proc because it deals like 105 extra magic damage, which is an insane amount. So the trick with this is that we actually go for... Um, we actually go for a lot of W plus RW combos because it regenerates the, uh, the, the, the fleet procs much more. That's what we want to be doing to deal the most amount of damage. So we TP on Bolt and we auto attack the Lucian down for a nice little shutdown. We reach level 11 and from this point, it's, uh, it's we're just going to be splitting in the side. We're going to be putting a lot of pressure. We're either going to be shoving the wave moving mid or we're going to be shoving the wave hitting tower. And in this case, he's just hitting tower. Our split pushing potential is extremely, extremely high. And we just grab the trial for free. And look how much gold that we're going to be generating with this build. With this build, we're going to be generating much more gold compared to uh, AP LeBlanc. Because of how much more access we have to towers. How much safer it is for us in the side. And how much more wave clear that we have. So we're just going to get more tempo on the map. And therefore more access to gold. And that makes it really, really hard to... Um, uh, to, to, to deal with this LeBlanc. So Aurelia decides to contest us in the side lane. And what's really important right here is that you look at his W usage uh, and the way he uses it to keep Aurelia out of range and actually space her to practically perfection. So Aurelia jumps onto him, he, he W's out. He doesn't W back because it gets into the out attack range. He knows Aurelia doesn't have Q, so he can just uh, outspace her and go for a few out attacks right here. That's exactly what, he, what he's doing. Aurelia is now stacking her queue up. And what he does is he doesn't do anything crazy. He just Ws away when this happens because he wants to get distance between him and Aurelia. Aurelia has no queue right now. So it's really hard for Aurelia to play. So he keeps distance with the Aurelia, doesn't W back until Aurelia is out of auto attack range, which is like perfect. And then he dodges out on Aurelia R because Aurelia R is now the only tool she has to actually hit Showmaker get her passive proc so she can Q twice and auto attack him more. But he anticipates that, dodges that, and with this beautiful W usage, it's really impossible for her to play. And look at this now. Now she's at such a distance that she has to walk linearly into Showmaker to get into Q range. He abuses this first time that she has to be linear to land an E, once again, W away from her because she just used Q. And even if she lands E right now, there's not much that she can do. So his W usage, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect W usage, perfect ability usage, which leads to another kill in the side lane. And um, he actually stays because he sees the enemy the team is playing topside. So what he knows is, okay, I've got a lot of regeneration, a lot of split push potential. I grab this tower. We now got 3k gold. We get Storm Razor. And it's going to now get even uh, even worse for the enemies in the side lane. But this is basically how you play, um, yeah, how you play this type of LeBlanc uh, in, in game. And it's a little bit different to AP LeBlanc, but it's much more oppressive if the situation is there. Because for a lot of champions in the game, it's going to be really, really hard to deal with you as LeBlanc. But as I said, it's really important that we snowball. If we don't snowball, we're going to be practically useless. Um, yeah. This is really broken if you guys can abuse it. Make sure to not pick it with full AD though. I've tried it myself. It doesn't fully work. Tabis and stuff, it really, really uh, uh, blocks out a lot of your damage, but mainly messes up your team. If you guys have any questions about this or other style of LeBlanc or whatever, feel free to hit me up and I'll see you guys real soon with a new video.